Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. And welcome to this week's Midweek 180, brought to you from inside the McLaren 620R, which is my press car this week. And now I spent all weekend and all day yesterday filming with this car, and I'm so glad I hadn't got to do it today because it is filthy weather out there today. Very, very cold and raining. But more about the video on this car to come. Anyway, if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring in my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, and that's it. A very simple format. So, without further ado, in fact, there's a prize draw coming next week, I promise. I've got some prizes, but I'm not gonna do it this week. All will be explained very shortly. But without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, leader of the pack last week was Francois G. Congratulations, sir. Joined in the Famous Five by Ben Higginson, Mad Paddy, Paul Mead, and Gary Carson. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week. And the first five comments, you'll be in my Famous Five. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Guillaume Campaniero, who was watching the Midweek 180 with his newborn son. Our latest peddler. Congratulations, my friend. Um, and congratulations to the youngest peddler I reckon we've got at the moment. Now, last week's question was, what tyre would you fit if you could only fit one manufacturer for the rest of your life? And the results were unbelievable. Michelin got 60 votes, and the second highest was Pirelli with 10 votes. So Michelin outscored by 6 to 1. There were two, uh, Goodyear and Hancock came in third with two votes each. And then we had basically a single vote for Verus Distein, however you say that, Metzler, uh, BF Goodrich, Coopers, Yokohama, Continental, and Nexon. So there you go. Massive, massive win by Michelin. This week's question, basically, uh, what's your best car gadget you've ever bought or own? Uh, it can be literally anything. Um, now then, uh, pretty low on the ground with news this week, but I did want to talk about Jensen Button has announced he has got a uh, an Extreme E team, uh, JBXE. I am so looking forward to Extreme E because uh, Lewis has got a team, and Nico Rosberg's got a team, Lewis Hamilton's got a team. There are now 10 teams on the grid. I think it's going to be a really, really interesting race. Two drivers, one girl, one boy, um, uh, in different um, locations around the world to raise awareness of environmental issues. I just can't wait for that. And then the sad news this week, sad stroke, Bloodhound, <laughs> Bloodhound LSR is up for sale again. Uh, so the guy who bought it and took it to the high-speed run they did last year, 628 miles an hour in South Africa, is now says he needs 8 million quid to get it beyond 800 miles an hour and beat the thrust SSC record of 763 miles an hour. Um, I hope they do it. I really, really hope they get their funding because that is just too amazing a project and too amazing a car, especially the way they work with schools and kids to kind of um, build on science, engineering and technology. Uh, and then video news this week. Hopefully you've watched the Monday night video, which was the M2CS. What a week I had with that car last week. <laughs> Wind, rain, floods. Unbelievable. But this Friday at 6 is this car that we're sat in, the McLaren 620R. Now, the reason I'm not doing a prize draw this week, uh, but I will be starting them again next week, is because I'm going to do a live premiere this week because... I've got quite a special video with this car, uh, certainly in terms, I, I haven't edited it yet, I filmed it all and I think it's going to be okay, but I've kind of really gone to town on the whole story of the video, so we just hope it works, <laughs> fingers crossed, but <sighs> not bad timing, not bad timing, this car is utterly, utterly sensational, it's basically a road legal GT4 race car, it is so fast, 620 PS. It does 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Uh, and it just sounds incredible because there is literally no sound editing in here. Carbon fiber floors, no carpets. It's got a roll cage, it's got a six point racing harness. These seats are straight out of a Senna. It just sounds incredible. Um, so you need to tune in on Friday at six for this car. It's a bit of a fun video but also I get to experience it. I had a lovely day yesterday. It was beautiful and crisp and sunny. A little bit cold, a little bit sketchy, but we had an amazing time filming this car. Uh, but I thought I might leave you with a bit of a cold start because it's parked in the garage, it gets collected.
tomorrow, sadly. Um, but I thought I could do a cold start. So here we go. because it literally is one degree and, and it needs to kind of go through its warm cycle before I even rev it but it just vibrates and shakes the whole car so you need to tune in on Friday at 6 for a premiere I will be there live in the comments we can talk about the video as it goes and I know you're going to enjoy this car because honestly this is perhaps one of the most special cars I've ever driven to have it on the channel is a true privilege and a huge thanks to McLaren for letting me play with their pretty new demonstrator, their press car. It's an absolutely stunning thing, sadly. I really don't want it to be collected later. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, which is with this McLaren 620R on Friday at six. You don't want to miss it, guys. I'll see you on that one, you take care. Drive safe. Ooh, it's getting a bit a bit quieter now because it's warmed up a bit. <laughs> take care guys. See you later.